Hi, good morning. Welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can back up your site completely, the whole site, into your computer. I decided to create this video because a few days ago, when WordPress 3.9 was released, I wanted to log into my wp-admin, which is my dashboard. I could log in through wp-login.php, um, but I could not see my uh, dashboard at all. This is because uh, the plugins that I've installed were not ready for WordPress 3.9, so it's also best to use um, to not using many plugins because using many plugins can have a problem when you updated your site to the most recent uh, WordPress version. So the problem is that plugins are not created by WordPress. They are created by third party or um, people that contribute um, their knowledge to create those plugins. And not all of them have time to immediately update the plugin codes whenever WordPress uh, has the newest version. So it's also um, recommended if you have a budget or if you have more money, uh, you can donate uh, those plugin creators because um, to appreciate their work, especially when their plugins are free. So back to our work. So let's back up our site completely. So what you need to back up are actually the most important is actually the images that you uploaded and the themes that you that you customize or the themes that you purchased or anything like that and the whole database for your site that are the most important but the most cases is that you upload some stuff like uh, like custom folders or custom HTML file that you use for um, to verify your sites to Google or anything like that. So, and the most important also is HD access file and wb-config.php in your site. So the best is just pick up your site completely. In this tutorial, I'm not using FTP client because uh, picking up your site with FTP client is a little bit slower in my opinion. So I personally prefer to pick up um, completely from cPanel because it's more easy and more faster. Also, the second drawback to use FTP client is that uh, some of files have the possibility that they are not downloaded properly with FTP client. FTP client is also a program and and uh, the percentage that it fails to download the uh, the whole image are very low, but it's better to have the best way than to be sorry at later times. So let's get started. First, you're going to log into cPanel. So I'm going to use this blog um, with images and stuff to pick it up. And believe me, if you have a bigger blog, I mean, it's the blog is already long time live in internet, you will have more files and more images and it will need time. So like I mentioned earlier, I prefer to do it manually in cPanel. So log into your cPanel. I assume that you can already log into your cPanel. If not, go to your uh, website and then uh, slash and then cPanel and that will redirect you to your cPanel. So I re I'm already logged into in another tab, so that's why it's showing error. By the way, this is my cPanel. Uh, next is we're going to our file manager and here, this is the most important, you're going to check on show hidden files or dot .files. This is important because if you want to pick up .htaccess, you will need to do that. For those who have bigger site, they have definitely htaccess to redirect stuff. So I also recommend that you pick up the htaccess. That's why it's important that you check on show hidden files. Click that and then hit go. Now here, as you can see, I have .htaccess, which is important in my personal blog. This uh, In this demo, it's not important because this blog is new, but I'm sure you grow your blog and it will have a lot of codes in .htaccess. That's why it's important. And scroll down. Actually, um, there are many ways to clean it, to clean these things up, but for now, I just leave it by default. And um, the next is we go to wp-config. Here it is, and then hit view. Now we are going to look for db underscore name with this line and as you can see uh, our db name or database name is called uh, kimiweb6 underscore wb demo dot uh, demo db. 
So this is the name of our database. The next is we go back to our cPanel home and go to phpMyAdmin. We need to go to phpMyAdmin because we want to back up our database. So database, as I mentioned earlier, is the most important uh, part when you back up your site because without database, your content will be just gone. So here, because I have only one database, it will uh, immediately show me the databases tables. But if you have many databases, you can go to databases tab over there, click it, and then you will see many of your databases. And in this demo, I just have one, so it's easy. But if you have more, this is how this um, configuration file uh, view is very important because you know that in this site you have this database. So WB demo DB. So I'm just go back to my PHP my admin and see which one this is. So this is it, the database that I need. So I'm just going to click it. And then here, you're going to click on check all and then we select that here and drop down or you can go to export tab, you're going to click that export or we select that and you're going to hit export or select export button. And then it will immediately bring you to this page and then you're going to leave everything by default and then you're going to hit go to download it. So once you download it, it depends on where you download your file. Mine, I download everything in my desktop. So there it is. And to have pre pre best practice, you can also create folder, which is the name of your site that you want to back up. And then uh, here inside this folder, you're going to create new folder again and then uh, type in databases. So uh, once you have databases uh, folder, you can just uh, drag here inside your databases folder to know what kind of file it is. So you see that .sql uh, file format is from databases. So um, you're going to just copy or drag your databases inside this databases folder. Next, after we uh, back up our SQL file or database file. Next is we're going to back up the whole site which uh, containing images, files, um, images and um, themes and other stuff. So now we close everything here that connected to our databases. We just don't need it anymore. And then go back to our home files where we install WordPress. Um, so next is we're going to hit on select all button here on the top and this will select every files that we have and then hit on compress button here and then we're going to uh, name our file just uh, random so random um, wp backup for example and then um, with the number and then compress files now it may take long if your site is big like my main blog but um, it is best just to pick up your site to prevent stuff that you don't want and then hit close once it's done and then here you will see uh, the file that we just compress it. If you don't see it, click on reload and you will see uh, this file. And once we have it, select this file and hit download button on the top. It will download it and it will take really long. Just be patient, grab your coffee or tea and then wait for it. But for this demo, it's fast because the block itself is quite new. So once you have it, you're going to go to your desktop and then you will find this file. And then uh, you're going to um, put it here and there it is. So this is the whole site and this is the database. That's all you need. If you want, you can also uh, open it or um, unarchive it to see what is inside. And take a look at the file and as you can see it is exactly the same um, the same things here the same file that you have in your dashboard and you might not see the dot uh, where we see on the servers here inside your computer but this is uh, not because of our backup but because the our computer configuration so if I open my terminal and here I'm going to um, to to, say, uh, to enable view all file so I'm just going to type this comment 
or if you on Windows, I don't, I'm not sure how to do that. But in fact, that dot .htaccess is there. So I'm just going to um, hit enter about entering this comment and then exit my terminal and then close my finder again and let go there again to our desktop. As you can see, now we have more files than before. And then we go to our files and to our backup folder again. And as you can see, we have htaccess here. So it's basically pick up everything from your web server. But now the most important is that you will definitely delete the zip file from your server. So uh, you can also delete this because we have already um, uh, extract these files that we have now. You can delete it or you can keep it, whatever. But for now, just going to delete it to make things clean here. And then, like I said earlier, you need definitely to delete the zip file that we have in our server still because you don't want people just to download your site from your server. So, um, so you will have to delete this file immediately after you downloaded your stuff. So select file and then hit on delete button on the top and delete file. To make sure that the file is deleted, going to hit reload and looks that you don't have that zip file that we've just downloaded. So once you're done, you can just log out from your cPanel and we've already done everything that we need to pick up our site completely. So that's all guys for today and thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel to see another videos. I'm going to uh, create another videos how to restore your site and stuff like that. So thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself and see you in the next video. Goodbye.